Hello, anyone who might be watching this video on YouTube. Uh, it's Paul here, and uh, I was looking around to see if anybody showed a way to UV map a Taurus and Blender. And there's stuff on Tauruses and UV wrapping, but none specifically on UV mapping a Taurus. And before, I've done it in Wings 3D, which is pretty quick. And somewhere along here, I believe, is... <laughs> well, I'm no longer on the first page, it seems, but I did do a tutorial on a tourist one time. But, who knows. Anyhow, enough with the Wings 3D. I'm going to do it in Blender. And there's an actual quick way to do it. So let's get rid of the cube here. And create... Taurus. So nothing fancy, it's just a default Taurus. And I'm going to go to what is it? UV editing. And I'm going to go into edit mode on a Taurus here. And scroll this here over so I can select edges. Something real simple is I'm just going to select this edge loop here. If I can get the right one. Yeah, that's the one I want. And I'm going to mark seam. And yeah, this is just the default tourist. You can do stuff like this. This will also work for things like tires and uh, other cylindrical bendy objects but and I am just marking my seams if I can get them here we go mark seam so uh, now I should have three seams one on the inside normally you won't see it there and one there if it's something like a tire I'd probably go make seams where it goes on the rim and I just might split it in half anyways just so it fits a little better one mapped okay but should be good enough, right? And now what we do is we have our map on this side because we're in the UV editing layout. So what we should be able to do is unwrap it. And there we go, we got to unwrap. We notice it's all kind of curved and eh, nothing too great. It looks kind of yucky. Well, there's a way to fix it. So if I select and I think I'll add a, a new texture. Yeah, UV grid's fine. And, uh, 50% value color, whatever. I don't think it matters too much. But we could call this a uh, tourist map. Sure, why not? And hit it. So you can see when it maps. And here we can change this to texture and you see it's still not so great because it's bent up and kind of yucky looking so how do we fix that we want our edges to line up straight with our grid here so we go edge mode here I guess there's a hotkey for it too uh, is it like control tab yeah control tab edge mode and I'm going to scale this Y, zero, and straighten that out, scale that X, zero, straighten that out. Basically you're defining the four corners of a grid there, and this Y, zero, and it should have a nice square right there. So I'm going to select that one. And while that is selected, everything else that's linked to that will be affected by this. So if you have your different islands, it's going to affect the whole island. So you got that square selected. And there's a little neat function here called follow active quads. So you click that. And length average, I think, is fine here. 
and click OK and it straightens it all out. That's the way to do it. And same way in here, you just uh, well, you gotta straighten out an edge first. So, scale Y0. Basically, you make one of the quads line up with the grid. That's pretty much it. <laughs> So now I got a square there, and I just select that square, unwrap, follow active quads, and that island's lined up, and select everything. And I believe there's a way to transform that, or average island scale. And I scale them slightly smaller anyways. And another thing I can do is line them up. So I gotta turn on snapping. I just snap to the vertex. And control L. Snapping turned on. I gotta click the little magnet. Alright, now I go. Now I can go and it snaps to that. Turn off snappy and grab and move it along the Y on the UV a bit. If I want to, I can actually, since their sizes are averaged out, it should be squared up pretty good. I should just be able to select both of them. <laughs> it's And I can scale them a bit. Scale them on the x-axis. So the grid here is pretty much lined up with the grid on the well, I'm not going for perfect, but you can have the grids line up. Close to it. <laughs> and you got your Taurus UV mapped. And I'll just turn on the display mode here if I can find it. So shady. And I'll tab out of edit mode. If I go into the default view, you should be able to see it now. I turn out what texture. Well, the lighting doesn't show it, but there's a uh, there we go. But that gives you a UV map for your texture there, and you can just paint on it, and it makes it easy. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it, and it squares it up, so you got a nice, fairly decent looking. Uh, but yeah, I didn't line it up perfectly, but if you go to paint it or something, texture it with painting uh, back in there. Oh, it's UV map. It, oh, if I go into edit mode, that's fine. What is it? Twister paint. Everything lines up. <laughs> yeah, 
and it works good. That's how you uh, UV map a torus and blender really quick. Like I said, the same method applies for uh, curvy things like car tires or tubes that bend back and forth. So there you go. Pretty simple, huh?